All right, well, today was definitely a good day. A lot of announcements from Fujifilm, and we're gonna talk about two of them. But first, let me go get a coffee. I'm good now. All right, so today we're going to talk about two of the new lenses announced by Fujifilm. And these are the 23 millimeter F1.4 R LMWR, as well as the 33 millimeter F1.4 R LMWR. So these are really exciting addition to the Fujifilm XF lineup. And they follow sort of the same body as the new 18 millimeter F1.4 as well. And the same philosophy of having the linear motors and the weather resistance. So let's talk features about these two new lenses. So these are designed for high resolution and maximize the sharpness as well. Now, if we look back at the original 23 millimeter F1.4, as well as the 35 millimeter 1.4, these came out with cameras with sensors of 16 megapixel and now we've reached up to 26 megapixel so we can see a lot of improvement there and as you can see on these 100 crop the sharpness is really there and i can truly say that i'm really excited about these lenses for sure these were also designed to minimize chromatic aberration so with no software correction we can see little to no chromatic aberration at all again a big improvement over the previous 23 mil f 1.4 as well as the 35 mil 1.4 these two lenses now uses linear motors so you're going to get fast and silent autofocus with these two new lenses and by the way don't be surprised when you hear that little linear motor moving did i break it that's normal that's the way the linear motors are designed so they're held by magnetic field and when they're not powered they're not suspended in the air they're not floating so that's normal so the linear motors are going to be great whenever you're shooting photos because you're going to get fast and snappy autofocus but where it really comes into play for me anyway is when you were shooting video. So we have a very smooth and accurate autofocus. Now our previous lens of choice for our Fuji guys videos was the 35 millimeter F1.4, but the motors were older, they were noisy, and they're not as smooth and snappy. So the look is great and that's what we love about it, but sometimes the autofocus wouldn't be the best and we would have to redo some B-rolls and things like that. But now this is becoming my new baby. Welcome to this world. Now, another major thing with these two lenses is obviously weather resistance, given you have a weather resistant camera body. They were also designed to be compact and lightweight. So these will be perfect as everyday carry in your bag for sure. And then they have the A position lock. So as soon as you get to F16, the ring will stop and you then have to press on the button to switch it to A. And if you want to disengage, the ring from the A position, you need to press again and turn it. So that way you don't accidentally put it to A or remove it from the A position. Now some specifics about the lenses. First, let's talk about 23 mil. So the XF 23 millimeter F1.4 RLMWR is replacing the older version, which has a clutch. So sorry for people that loved it and then good for people that hated it. And then close focusing with this lens will be 10 centimeters from the front element of the lens. So you can really get up close to any subjects you're trying to photograph. Now let's talk about the 33 mil. It is a true 50 millimeter equivalent. It is not replacing the original 35 millimeter F1.4. It sits next to it. So the original 35 millimeter F1.4 will still be available for purchase brand new. You will get very pleasing out of focus area or bouquet. And then as I mentioned, it's going to be great for our Fuji guys videos because of the linear motors, but also because of the minimal chromatic aberration. Now we noticed it on our videos when we have close up on small text, we sometimes have some uh, blue and purple lines. That's chromatic aberration. Well, this lens will solve that. And then to wrap it up, there will be an accessory as well, which is the LHXF23-2 lens hood, which is going to be a metal lens hood, a square one. And it will be compatible with both the 23 millimeter as well as the 33 millimeter. So all in all, these two lenses make a great addition to the XF lineup, joining the 18 millimeter F1.4. And it's just, yeah, a perfect trio. So 
actually I'm just gonna go and, and shoot some more I've had it for uh, two days maybe I, I did one shoot but I want to shoot some more of it 